what's up everybody so I'm gonna be doing uh, giving you guys a review for my uh, EK water cooling kit and the actual model number on it is the uh, well not model number but what it's actually called is the uh, starter liquid cooling kit um, it's made by EK water blocks and uh, it's their extreme 360 kit now their extreme 360 kit is basically the same as their extreme 240 kit but with a bigger radiator um, now, when you pick up the box, it's actually heavy. It's really heavy for the box. Um, so, you know, going through the unboxing, as I did, and uh, posted it online, my uh, first thoughts uh, were, you know, a bunch of nice parts, and the radiator. I was really impressed with the radiator, because that thing is thick. It is really thick. Now, the thing about this kit is it comes with absolutely every single thing you need minus the distilled water everything else you need to liquid cool your processor is in this kit you know it comes with the compression fittings it comes with the soft tubing it comes with the reservoir it comes with the pump the plugs the water block the hardware the radiator the fans um as well as different mounting solutions for you know the cpu water block and you know it comes with absolutely everything now let me first uh, start off saying that this kit has uh, basically the parts in this kit aren't exclusive to this kit the parts that you buy in this kit are all parts you would buy separately that they package together um, these aren't package specific or you know of course are made to go together um, I, I can't really think of the best way to explain it but it's uh, how can I put this basically you know the supremacy water block you know it's just their standard water block you can buy and basically they got all these separate parts that they sell and they put them all together as a package so it makes it easier for people that they you know if somebody doesn't know what to buy but they want to water cool it uh, that's basically what it is and when I open the box the big box that contained everything else they were individually individually packaged in the same packaging that you can actually buy at the store it's not like they even put special packaging they just put everything in a box together and when I open up this box there was nothing pat you know no extra air floating around in there this thing was filled top to bottom side to side with just all the parts it was just solid filled with stuff which obviously that's a really good thing and you know that's definitely a positive that you know that you got a lot of stuff when you purchase this kit so of course you know the first thing I did when I was getting through everything is you know I was going through all the boxes you know as you can see on the video of the unboxing and you know it came with plenty of soft tubing I mean there is a lot of soft tubing in here to do a CPU and uh, in a lot of cases even add on a GPU if you get a water block for your uh, GPU so it came with a lot of soft tubing which is fantastic um, you had the uh, bottle that you mix in with distilled water to make your coolant that was right on top um, and had a few other things right on top that wasn't even packaged that they just threw in to finish off the kit so going through I was opening up all the boxes and just the feel the feel of all the products just felt you know quality built they didn't feel chintzy you know I built a or I bought a uh, reservoir pump combo off of Amazon for like 35 bucks and it didn't feel too bad but you know it didn't feel as solid and as heavy and it it didn't feel as nice as this just the reservoir did you know the reservoir it's it's a beautiful looking reservoir has a lot of options to um, expand on and all that but I'll get into that later um, the water block it's nice solid it's really nice it's a clear water block so you can actually see your liquid running through it um, and then the hardware that it came with was fantastic you know the fans feel fantastic the radiator was nice and heavy the pump has weight to it the pump has some weight to it and it's also a 
semi-clear top to the pump and uh, also has rubber feet on the pump so it you know dampens the noise um, that is another positive that I'm gonna get into in a little bit alright so basically uh, I'm gonna go through the installation at this point uh, basically my experience going through the whole installation now I have water cooled a you know quite a few systems so I, I knew what I was getting into but as an overall you know um, I can't remember off the top of my head what I installed first um, I believe I did my water block first so for the water block this was actually a very interesting uh, procedure I've never actually went through this kind of procedure uh, for going through the water block before for this water block it comes with uh, different jets um, different inserts uh, so basically for the processor I put it on the i7 6700 K um, the insert was fine but uh, the recommended jet for it was actually not installed in the water block it was it was with the hardware so I actually had to take the top of the water or the bottom of the water block off and actually swap out the jet now I had instructions on how to do so and the instructions were fantastic you know very very simple on installing the jet you know getting it all apart um, as far as what motherboards and uh, what socket types this water block works for basically all of them um, this is the 1151 socket I'm using it on which is the same as the 1150 and uh, get the back plate on there and went on perfectly no issues the uh, the design to hold the water block to the back plate I really like it's a spring bolt or a spring nut whatever you want to call it design and I love that design um, I've dealt with many spring bolts before working on cars exhaust uh, exhaust manifold to the downpipe a lot of vehicles have a spring bolt design so you know I know the whole point of it what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to keep a nice tension on it and that's what it does for this and it was so goddamn simple it really was you know the instructions told you step by step on what to do and it worked out perfectly it really did um, next I'm gonna go with the radiator uh, the radiator installing was simple because a radiator is a radiator it's a 360 rad so it has three fans on it all the mounting was spot on it's a really really nice looking radiator it's nice and thick it's heavy there's not much more to say about the radiator itself um the reservoir the reservoir um, it's not a huge reservoir but it's not a tiny one it's actually um, I would say kind of a medium size uh, has the um, acrylic I think it's acrylic um, it has it's clear you know just like a normal you know reservoir vertical reservoir the filling you know you have the fill at the top now at the bottom of the reservoir well the bottom side on one side you have two ports two quarter inch threaded ports on the other side you have one quarter inch hole threaded port and then at the bottom of the reservoir you have two more um, so you have plenty of options on where you want to run your lines out of this reservoir and how many lines you want to run out of the reservoir you know if you want to run a pump going to one thing and a pump going to another thing but have it off of one reservoir you can do that or however you want to work it it's very versatile and uh, it, it, it's a very nice looking reservoir and it has a uh, the EK logo logo um, you can actually have it in your reservoir there's actually an insert that you could push it in and have the EK logo big plastic clear piece or you don't have to have it in there you could just have it nothing in there um, so that's really cool I actually have the EK logo in there because I think it actually looks pretty cool um, next is the pump uh, I don't know the specs off the top of my head for the pump I don't but the pump itself it's a decent size it's it's uh, square you know just watch the video or you know of me doing the install or the unboxing 
um, it's heavy it's solid you know it has the rubber feet um, with threads obviously in the bottom so you can actually mount it you know to whatever you need to and it comes with a mounting bracket as well so you can actually mount it where you would put a 240 millimeter fan on a case you can actually take a 240 millimeter fan out mount the bracket to the fan spot and then mount the pump to the bracket so you can mount it you have a lot of options of where you can mount this pump and uh, yeah I mean it's pretty self-explanatory it's quiet and it seems to be doing a fantastic job now the tubing I believe it's 3 8 inside diameter tubing I believe it's 3 8 and uh, you know it's it's thick enough it's clear soft tubing there's not really much to say about it besides the fact that they give you more than enough for a starter kit they really do um, the fittings the fittings have been amazing to work with they are compression fittings which is a barb that you put your tube over and then the collar goes over threads on squeezes the tube on they look beautiful and yeah they match the tubing perfectly the quarter inch threading everything threaded in perfectly no toughness anything like that also came with two they, they kind of look like eighth inch adapters maybe a quarter inch adapters that you thread in your pump now you thread these adapters in these extenders and then you uh, screw your um, compression fittings in because the collar for the compression fittings basically the uh, the holes for the threading they're a little inset on the reservoir so if you don't use these you know um, extend extensions or adapters you will not be able to get your fitting all the way in and have your collar for your compression fitting all the way in so you actually need these extenders in or it's not going to seal whatsoever and you're not going to have a good time. So, um, if you're listening to this review because you're debating on it and you decide to get it, make sure you use those two extensions. It comes in the kit. Very self-explanatory. Um, in the video, I did not explain that. I did not know that at the time, but luckily I figured it out before I filled it up because I double-checked everything. Um, the fans themselves for the radiator, they're dead quiet I don't fucking hear him running at all um yeah and overall I mean the liquid uh, it, like I said it comes with the concentrate to uh, put with the distilled water to fill your uh, fill your system I actually didn't use that I actually um, had uh, EK liquid already pre-mixed that was blood red and it worked perfectly because my motherboard on the system is red and black aces so the blood red liquid matches the red perfectly so it actually looks really nice um now i have dealt with one issue one issue with this setup and i'm not blaming it on the liquid cooling setup i'm blaming it on my i'm blaming it on i don't know if it's the motherboard or what basically uh the kit this whole kit actually comes with a y cable um well I guess it, would be, it wouldn't really be a Y cable, but it has a splitter. So you plug your three radiator fans into the, into the plugs, and it goes into one plug. Now, on the motherboard, and it's, you know, the correct header, you know, I plugged it into the CPU fan header. Because this motherboard, the B150 ga uh, Pro Gaming Aura, uh, has a header for the water pump and it has a header for the fan so I plug the water pump into the water pump and uh, I plug the radiator fan you know all three of them into the adapter into the CPU fan and for some reason it did not want to do it did not want to work um, I it, it didn't want to boot up you know, I kept getting a black screen, and then I can get into the settings. Settings would work fine. Then I would get into Windows, and then it would crash. Get into Windows, it would crash. Could not get the computer to run for more than 30 seconds, or I would just get a black screen. So I unplugged the fans. Worked perfect. 
didn't have an issue. Plugged them back in. Had the issue. Tried it about three or four times. It does not work. So I actually had to plug in my fans to a... They're still all plugged into that same adapter, but I have them plugged into a chassis fan header onto the motherboard, and it works perfectly fine. I just had to go into the settings and have... It, well, go into the BIOS or the UEFI, and I actually had to... Uh, basically tell the BIOS to ignore my CPU fan control or my CPU fan RPM because I didn't have a fan hooked up to that header so it was going to read zero and it wouldn't let me boot up until I made, uh, until I went into the settings and changed that but since I changed that to where it ignores that it works perfect you know I don't have that issue um, now as far as temperatures we can talk about temperatures um, idling, it, it, you know, idling always changes. And it always changes because, it, you know, you can't get colder than ambient temperature, basically. And right now we're going from winter into spring. So, you know, my idle temperature is completely different. You know, I can't, you know, I'll come in, my idle temperature is at, you know, 18 degrees Celsius. And the next day it's at 26, 27 degrees. Next day it's like 35. Then it's, you know... 20 you know but now I can check the temperatures actually right now and my temperatures for my CPU um, I'm gonna read you two temperatures the first one uh, this is at idle my first temperature is going to be the Asus motherboard CPU temperature, which is saying 29.5 degrees Celsius. And uh, my Intel Core i7-6700K temperature is 21 degrees Celsius idling. Um, now, both of those temperature readouts are on the same program. Uh, still, the Corsair Link program that's what I'm getting my uh, temperature readings off of and my CPU load is going from 0.48 to 2.73 percent so it, it's idling so it's basically at 21 to 25 degrees Celsius idling right now and it's about 45 50 degrees Fahrenheit outside I, I I'm not good with conversions I go with computer stuff at Celsius and you know I live in Pennsylvania so I go by Fahrenheit because we're in the States um, now as far as under a load rendering a video for some reason I'm checking the lo you know my load percentages and my load percentages only go to about 50 percent when I'm rendering a video and when I'm rendering a video the highest I seen was 52 degrees. That was the highest. That that was the peak. That was only once. Normally, it's at about 45 degrees Celsius when I'm rendering a video. So as far as overheating, eh, I really don't have to worry about it. Now, mind you, this is at a stock clock. It is not overclocked by any means. This is right from the factory. So of course, it's not going to run hot. But it's giving me a good base temperature to go from. Now, I, I don't know if there's much more I can say about it. Um, the kit itself I got at Micro Center for 380 bucks, And for 380 bucks, it came with the tubing, uh, the liquid concentrate, or whatever you want to call it, the 360 rad, the three fans, the pump, the reservoir. I think I already said the tubing, but the tubing, all the compression fittings, the water block, all the hardware you know it, it came with literally everything you need minus distilled water and something to cut the tubing that's it it came with everything else and yeah I love this kit I do and it's you know in the future I'm actually gonna make it hard line but I'm gonna keep all the hardware so I'm going to take the soft line out, I'm going to take the compression fittings out, I'm going to get triple seal fittings, and go PETG or glass. 
and I don't need to buy anything else besides the fittings for Hardline and the Hardline itself. So you can't go wrong with that. And, you know, just the fact that the box says starter kit, you don't have to think that it's shitty or anything. It's phenomenal. It's fantastic. I recommend it. I highly recommend it. EK is a really amazing company. And they've made an amazing kit, as well as the products, separately even. So, yeah, this this kit is a huge thumbs up. Haven't dealt with any issue. It's nice and quiet. I am literally sitting four foot from the computer. I don't hear I don't hear it at all. The only thing I hear is my AMD setup going right now, and that has my thermal take uh, kit with a radiator that I added into it. So yeah, that's a huge thumbs up. Now, mind you, I've only had this kit installed for a few weeks. As far as reliability, I have a feeling it's going to be fine because, you know, it's a good company. It's not, you know, some eBay brand or anything shitty like that. So as far as the performance out of it, it's been fantastic. And I would recommend it. And that's it for this review. If you liked the video, the review, make sure to like it. Throw a comment down in the comment section what you think about EK in general or, you know, about this kit. And uh, make sure to subscribe. There will be more content coming in the future. Until next time, have a good one.